All right, in today's video, I want to talk about uh, how to change case in your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you know, in Microsoft Word, I can just highlight that text and then, you, you know, there would be an icon up here that would allow, allow you to change the case. Here in Excel, you have to build a formula in a different cell. So I'm going to go to cell B2 and I'm going to type in um, equals, the name of the function is called upper. And uh, if you don't type it in, uh, it can be found under the FX, uh, the list of functions under the text category. But really, it's going to make something uppercase. So we have equals upper, open parentheses, and then I'm going to point to the cell uh, A2 and then close parentheses. Right? Equals upper, open parentheses, A2, close parentheses. And then we do have the uppercase. Of course, I'll make column A bigger. And then we're going to copy that right on down the rest of the column. And still make column be bigger. Uh, now, if I want to make something lowercase, I'll say equals lower open parentheses A2 close parentheses. And as you can see there, that makes everything lowercase. The name of the function is lower. That would actually be under the text category of your functions as well. And then um, in column D, the, uh, we're going to make something into the proper case. The proper case means the first letter of each word will be capitalized. And really the function there is just called proper. And you can see it has the same format. So I have equals proper open parentheses A2 close parentheses. And of course we'll copy that down and we'll make column D bigger. All right, so we have three functions that can change the case in Microsoft Excel. Upper, lower, and proper. All three of those are in the text category when you go into your functions. Like if I pick the FX right over here, and then we go into the text category, you would find, um, you would find all three of those. There's lower, and there's proper, and there's up all right if you want to get more information after this video but you can see they're not hard to use it's equals upper and then the the cell reference equals lower or equals proper now let's say i want to replace column a with the items in column b well i can't just do a copy and paste because uh you would be copying the formula so in this case we're going to copy uh, with a paste special and the values only. I'm going to right click on column B and pick on copy. Then I'm going to right click on column A and then pick on a uh, paste special. And then we do the values only, which means it's going to be the values without the formulas. And we'll click on OK. See how column A now has that same text without the formulas. And therefore, I no longer need uh, the other column or the other columns in this case. Uh, I'll get rid of column B anyway, because uh, that's a, a duplicate now. So I'm gonna right click on column B and I'll delete that column. So now we're left with the uh, just uh, the upper and the lower and the proper. So that, that's probably what I would do if you wanted to replace the original text. Uh, and then you, then you copy and then you go to the original text and you say paste special with the values only. But you can see now how to change the case in Microsoft Excel. 